Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on laptop construction and deconstruction. Today we're going to be talking about common laptop construction, and then I'll move on to some laptop field repair topics. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this discussion. And of course, I begin by talking about common laptop construction. So what do I mean by common laptop construction? Well, what materials are laptops commonly made of? And we begin with plastic. Plastic is used extensively in the construction of laptops. Why? Because it's inexpensive, it's lightweight, it's easy to work with, and it's fairly durable, at least up to a point. It's not uncommon to find a laptop where the whole outside material is made of plastic. Then we have aluminum. It's used in higher-end construction of laptops. Why? It's more expensive than plastic, but it's still lightweight, and it's durable and rugged. It's more durable and more rugged than plastic. Other metal alloys are used in high-end construction of laptops. One example would be a magnesium cover. These materials are the most expensive, but they are very lightweight. They tend to be not as durable as aluminum, but are more durable than plastic. And there you have the common laptop materials. Now laptops have fewer components that are easily replaceable in the field. For those components that can be easily replaced in the field, manufacturers commonly place access to them on the bottom side of the laptops. It's not uncommon to find access doors for the RAM or optical drives on the underside of the laptop. Just be aware that not all of them put these access doors in place. So you might actually have to remove the whole bottom of the laptop in order to get access to those components. Now let's move on to laptop field repair. Now there is no standard method of breaking a laptop down to its individual components. Researching the manufacturer's documentation and other sources will be the key to successfully breaking it down and reassembling a laptop. The internet will be a vital resource when having to dismantle a laptop and perform any type of field repair. So now let's move on to some general tips for disassembling a laptop. First off, research the manufacturer's documentation on the process on breaking their laptop down. You can also research other sources on the internet. You can often find YouTube videos on the internet that will show you exactly what you need to do to perform the repair you have in mind. Next, you need to develop a step-by-step -step plan. Make sure that you know the steps before you get into it. Then you should unplug the power cord and turn the system off. You don't want to be disassembling a live system. Document all screw and cable locations. A good idea is to take pictures with your cell phone so you know exactly where everything was and where it needs to go back. Systematically organize the parts. Use the appropriate tools to get the job done. I don't recommend a hammer but you should use plastic wedges when there is a need to pry open something. With plastic wedges, there is less of a danger of marring surfaces. And remember, when you're reassembling, reverse the order of disassembly. Be very systematic and be very thorough. There's nothing worse than putting a system back together thinking you're done, only to find out that you missed something in the process. Now that concludes this session on laptop construction and deconstruction. I talked about common laptop construction materials and we talked about laptop field repair. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I look forward to doing another one.